is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright, that's... sounds good to me. Tuh! Chris Virginia is saying saying Swaggins was a terrorist, I'm glad you got rid of him. I didn't get rid of him, he quit. And you know, I have to say that uh, this is what's funny about people who are so negative about me. Anyone who's currently associated with me is the devil, but if they decide to not be uh, associated with me anymore, all of a sudden they're like so good. So, perfect example, Swaggins, everyone hated him when he was a mod, right? Oh, he's, he's a, we don't like Swaggins, he create, he turns the, the chat into like an inclusive boys club, and too many inside jokes, and he, he's the, his moderation isn't good and it's not fair. Also, negative shit that the, the, the detractors would always say about him, right? Oh, he's a fanboy, he sucks Phil's dick, he contributes so much, then as soon as as soon as he decides to leave, oh, we miss Swaggin. Swaggins was the best, man. Swaggins, the best. it's so fucking disingenuous bullshit. It really is. You know, we had we, there was a fucking person who my my ex he made her face into a fucking negative emo on his Twitch channel, which is against the Twitch terms of service and probably one of the reasons why he got permanently banned from Twitch to begin with. I wouldn't know because I wasn't involved, but I would guess that would be one of the ones. Then all of a sudden I break we we, we break up. Oh, I, mi I miss his Phil's ex. I miss her. What? You hated her guts. Yeah, you you seriously know. hated her fucking guts the entire fucking time that we were together. Every time she was in a video. Every time that she was in anything. It was negative, 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 negative. Now we break up. Oh, I miss her. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's so dumb. I want to talk about fake. That's fucking phony right there. That's the definition of phony. All I can taste is the saltiness. Logan, to be a dollar, what do you think would need to happen for trolls to become fans? I feel like they actually like you, but they're bored because your chat rules are too strict for them, perhaps. Maybe there's a middle ground. Listen, I don't think that's it at all. That's not the thing. They're not fans. The thing is, they don't watch me. They're not watching me because they want me to succeed. They're laughing at me. They are basically want me to make fun of me. That's it. That's the only reason they want to be involved. Why Why do you think there's illegal restreams in my streams that, that for these chill streams? That have a way higher viewership than the actual chill stream itself because they're only there to be dicks. They weren't. They weren't going to contribute. They were never going to do anything positive or constructive. They were just going to try to tear me down. You know what I mean? Because they're shitheads. So if you're a shithead, go to the shithead stream. <laughs> and then your people feels a toxic streamer. No, you actually make. You try to make me look like that. What's hilarious? We got someone here by the name of Derek's game. parents pretending like they're Derek's parents, saying, "Oh, Derek stole a credit card to sub to you." Hit. Yeah, they spelled no Derek's name wrong. One man on base. If you're gonna troll, at least get the fucking name of the person you're trolling right. Holy shit, you're an idiot. <laughs> you're not even getting his name right. Wow. Corvo took me a dollar and he says, I laugh a lot during your streams and sure sometimes I am laughing at you. I see this when a comedian is telling an embarrassing story about themselves and that's so wrong. No, and that's fine. But my point is, imagine, imagine this. Imagine that... Alright, so anyway... The difference here is, if you're actually on my stream, you're interacting with me in the chat, you just contributed a dollar, right? Those are all positive things, like, wow, I like to laugh at, at Phil, and that's okay, I want this to continue, I'll do something positive to contribute. Versus, oh, I go to somewhere where someone's illegally restreaming Phil's stream, he gets no positive benefit out of it whatsoever, in fact, the illegal restreamer receives illegal positive contributions that he shouldn't even be fucking getting because he's restreaming illegal stolen content. You know what I mean? It's a very different situation. I don't care if you're laughing at me as long as you're doing it and saying, okay, I still support Phil's content. I want to see him continue to be able to do what he does versus, oh, let's just steal everything and laugh at him and be negative about him and just do everything we possibly can to fuck him in every possible fucking way because that's what's happening with those other people. That's not your situation at all, Corvo. The money is mine and I want the money. Hoarding all this money. If I made half the money on mirror streams, would I be okay from it? I should be getting more than half the money. It's greed. It's greed. Greed is massively strong. I have no fucking self-control. Because the only thing they're commenting on is someone else's content. They're not even contributing. There's no gameplay. They're not even, they don't have a controller in their hand controlling a game. Literally, I should be making the vast majority of anything that they bring in, and everything they bring in is completely illegal. Now but Just YouTube doesn't care. Sun Quan, I have no fucking idea, but the bottom line is that they should be making zero, and anything they make is completely illegal, and it should actually be thanks to me. Because the truth of the matter is, before they realized they could get away with illegally restreaming me, those those viewers came to watch me. And every once in a while, they would throw me a dollar, or maybe they would pledge to my Patreon or whatever. 
No. And now they don't anymore because of the shitheads who can now illegally restream my stuff. And since I don't have money to sue, I can't get any of it taken down. If I, if I had money to sue, I could e easily get anyone who illegally restreams me like that taken down. But I just don't have the money. Time so. for the ball game. No, Cookboxer, I'm not commenting on someone else's content, because number one, I paid a license to play said content. Number two, it was my gameplay that is creating a transformative work out of this into a video game stream or playthrough, not just a standard video game that's, that's you know, static by itself. Anyone on the internet who literally shows content from someone else that is raw content, unedited, without permission, and restreams it live is breaking the law 100%. There's not a single court of law on planet Earth that would rule in their favor. <gasps> Oh my god! Saying, no, you're literally watching someone else's work and just commenting over it. That's not legal. If it were, Mystery Science Theater 3000 would do it on everything ever. Every fucking movie ever made. Every television show ever made. Everything ever would be fair game. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they have done that from day one? Don't you think they would be filthy rich if they could comment over every new fucking movie ever? But they can't do that because it's illegal. But the difference here is, on the internet... Right? No one has the money to uphold copyrights. If you know, if the guys from Misty Science Theater 3000 were rebroadcasting Avengers Endgame and doing commentary over it, I'm pretty sure that Marvel and Disney would slam the fuck out of them with cease and desist orders and lawsuits to sue them and stop them. I don't have money to do that. I don't have a team of lawyers, so anyone could just rebroadcast my shit however they want, and I have no defense against it. Now, YouTube, sadly, has zero effective tools to combat this. Because if you try to tell YouTube someone on your website's breaking the law, they say, well, issue a lawsuit, and then we'll, we'll stop it permanently. Which I can't do. So, fuckers, get away with this on a daily basis. It has nothing to do with it being a transformative work protected by YouTube fair use law. You're an idiot if you believe that. It's because YouTube will not take action unless you actually put a lawsuit against anything. Right now, there are videos on YouTube that just ripped straight from my fucking channels. Not even, no editing, no commentary. They just literally stole the video from my channel and re-uploaded it to their page. And if I tried to take down that video, YouTube would say, Well, we'll take it down temporarily, but if that person disputes it, we put it back up unless you sue them with a lawsuit. That's how YouTube works. There's no protections against anything. Here on Twitch, it's actually very different. On Twitch, whenever you have a report for something serious, like a serious issue, like copyright infringement, outright theft, etc., they will actually have a human review the case, go to their team, and decide internally if this is something that they actually want on their business or not. So they'll have people review a case where, you know, oh my god, this guy's literally every day just rebroadcasts Phil, has no original content, all he does is steal from Phil, and is making money by doing it. We don't want him here anymore. Boop! Permanently banned from Twitch. But YouTube doesn't care. YouTube thinks they're so big, they don't have to listen to anyone unless you're suing someone. That's the deal about it, guys. That's the truth behind it. Okay? Um, this is how you don't plays are legal? That's a gray area. This is how you don't plays could, could maybe be considered legal, and maybe not. It really depends, because in a court of law, fair use is determined by the amount of something that you use. So, let's say, for example, I have an 8-hour playthrough of a video game, and someone does a 30-minute, this is how you don't play of it. All right, and they chop it all up or whatever. It depends because there's so many factors involved. It could be what in what light is this video used? Is it made to just be a comedy montage or is it actually made to make me look bad? Because that could be actually considered slander, which is a whole different illegal thing that you can't do. So that's what I mean. Like, this, I, I would say this is how you don't play. Is it legal or not? That's always been a gray area. Always. But people 100% just ripping my streams and rebroadcasting them immediately raw. That's 100% illegal. There's no court of law will ever um, say that's that's allowed. <laughs> Salt, 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 90% of the time. You know, and then you might say, well, then why is it that certain streams like E3, they allow you to rebroadcast them? Because that's promotion. That's what they want. They want people watching these big promoted shows and, and talking over them because that gives extra, extra um, attention to them. That's extra exposure for them. That's what they want. Versus when you rebroadcast my stream, those are viewers that should have been on my stream, that may have contributed to my stream, now they're contributing to someone else. That's theft. And that's the difference. Okay. Uh, let's see. Corvo tipped me two dollars. Says there have been some people who make positive contributions to you, but when they stepped over some weird line, you banned them. Third Eye the Third comes to mind. Dude, do you not have any idea what Third Eye the Third did? You probably don't. I'll, I'll tell you in a moment. I like the fan art he did. It poked fun at you, but it was innocent enough, and he cheered. The the reason Third Eye the Third is banned has nothing whatsoever to do with the fan art. I'm not even kidding. The reason he's banned is because he's a fucking is a dishonest liar. That's like me, right? That's like me. He lied about it. If he had come to me and said, "All right, you know, I was trying to pull a fast one on you, Phil. I tried to submit." Uh, you know, an overlay that had references to one of your detractors. You caught me. All right, fair enough. He lied. He always, oh, no, I didn't do that. Oh, no, you're making that up. You're just over-exaggerating. So basically, he's going to, why would I ever want someone like that around who's going to constantly be dishonest and constantly just be lying through their teeth about shit? I 100% I would never, ever allow someone like that to be a part of any kind of thing in my streams or whatever. And that's why that fucker's banned for good. If he had just fessed up and said, all right, you caught me. Fair enough, I would have let it slide. But instead, he has to be a fucking asshole about it and lie repeatedly about it when I asked him about it multiple times, so he could go to hell. 
Oh, I gotta take a sip. What did King Tut do? King Tut just lost his mind, and no one really knows because no one knows who the hell King Tut actually was. He comes in here and was just dropping insane amounts of contributions out of nowhere, but then over the course of like a month, all of a sudden he just wanted to like take over the stream every time he was on my stream. He wanted the whole stream to be about him, everyone interacting with him, he would try to get my attention and try to get my attention off the game to talk with him and shit. And then next thing you know, one day he lost it and he starts swearing at me in stream and writing me crazy offensive emails saying that I'm an evil person and shit. And I'm like, dude, I don't even know what's going on, I'm playing a video game. And if I look down at the stream chat, and everything is tut, 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 tut. It's going to be ban, 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 ban. And then we're going to continue on like normal fucking humans and not idiots. You just come in and you drop money on my streams and you try to derail my streams, you know. And now all of a sudden, you completely flipped your attitude against me or whatever. And then he, then the worst part, of course, he tried to charge back everything. I'm not even kidding. Everything he ever contributed, he tried to charge back. He was trying to get back the money that he had cheered himself. He was trying to get back tips. He was trying to get back everything. And that's fucked up because that's money that already I had used to do things, you know, pay bills and stuff. And you try to get back money that, that you have no right to try to claim back. So the good news is I kept it all. And basically the final email, he's like, I want all my money back. And I'm like, uh, you're not getting any money back. This fucker tried to steal money from me. The guy was completely just, uh, he's a loon. He literally was a loon. Like, I don't know what his deal was. I don't know who he was or why he was contributing because I had never known who he was beforehand. It just seems to me Tut was a guy who like was was looking for he was looking for attention and he realized that he could throw money around on a stream like mine and get big attention because if he goes to a bigger streamer there's a bunch of people who throw money around so no one's gonna pay attention to him but if he comes to a stream like mine oh my god now all of a sudden he's the center of attention everyone's just constantly talking about him for like a month ever you know, ever since he started contributing but then he kind of like well now i need to i want to control this stream and i want to do this and that and i want to be you know and then he couldn't do it. Like, he realized I wasn't going to let him take control of my streams. There were some streams I told people, don't make this all about touch, stop. Or else you're going to get moderated because I'm playing a game. It's supposed to be about me playing a game and people chilling with me. Not all about the guy who throws money around, you know? Um, and, you know, it's hilarious because some people like to say that I'm all about money. Yet, if that were the case, why would I Why would I have done that? Why would I have put my foot down and concretely said I'm not going to allow this guy just because he contributes to completely overrun my streams and ruin them? And when I actually put my foot down, a lot of people thanked me. A lot of the regulars were like, thank you for doing that because we were tired of it. We were tired of this guy just coming in and completely derailing everything you Our ever do. Um, but, yeah, I just don't know what the hell his problem was. Like I said, literally out of nowhere one day, I had nothing to do with it. I was playing a game, and I had zero interaction with the guy. Next thing I know, apparently, he left the stream in a tizzy. He writes me two emails swearing at me, insulting me, saying that I'm a scumbag and all of this. And I'm reading it, and I'm like, what? Like, what the fuck is this? I have no involvement with any of this. I don't know what the guy's talking about, you know? And Sambuca did a $20 tip. He says, your mods are uptight. I I'm out other than lurking. The online streams aren't as much fun. Every time I interact, I'm timed out. I enjoy watching and agree. The interactive chat was fun, but I get t not to get when I get timed out. Sambuga, I don't know why you got timed out. <laughs> I don't know why you got timed out. But I don't know if you're, uh, what, what happened. Were you repeating a, uh, you know, something a detractor would say? You know what I mean? Like, I, please don't hold it against me. I don't know what the hell's going on. How can I tell you what happened when I have no clue? Right? It looks like you were talking with mods about why would anyone want to be a mod when they're not getting paid. Then I don't know. I can't see. It looks like you got timed out. Then he said, I'm confused. Why was I timed out? And he said, I want to tip, but I can't, which is tipping has nothing whatsoever to do with the stream chat at all. So I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Anyway, thank you, Sambuka, for the $20 tip. How about this? Just freaking relax. Just relax and talk normally. And then, first of all, don't bring up mod stuff. Why are you even bringing up, oh, who would want to be a mod in Phil's chat, right? A mod could take that as offensive because they're a mod. And they're like, well, I'm a mod in Phil's chat, and I, don't, I, I feel like... Phil appreciates what I do, and maybe he'd take an offense to the fact that you would bring that up. I mean, this is common sense stuff. I can't make you understand common sense, really. Um, if you bring up tentative topics and you get moderated, I can't help you. Why would you bring that up, you know? One of the worst business models for something that will consistently suck your money, but give you nothing for it. Baby Man Gaming, now wait a minute. Baby Man Gaming says your new mods are very abusive. Baby Man Gaming, I hate to tell you this, but you very, very frequently, you walk the line, the razor's edge between being like a supporter and a detractor. And a lot of the times you bring up negative stuff that you know I'm not going to talk about in the stream chat. You know that. So for you, dude, you really don't have any kind of like a leg to stand on on this one, even though you cheer a lot, which is appreciated. A lot of the times you bring up things that are like ridiculous and or personal, and they really lend themselves to open moderation. So you, you know, I don't really think you have a case here, dude. <laughs> that's absolutely correct king of golf hd i have to agree with him he says basically you have to go out of your way in order to get banned in my stream chat and that's true if you're just an average viewer and you're just chatting reasonably that you're never going to get moderated at all it's people who have to bring up personal shit 
right? That everyone knows is off limits. People have to bring up detractors. You know that's off limits. You know what I mean? When you bring up the risque stuff to try to get attention and drama, well, guess what? Chances are you might get moderated. And those are the people who get moderated. And of course, those are the ones who whine the loudest that they don't deserve moderation. When in reality, you were the one who chose to talk about it. Sambuka, I appreciate the contribution, but you literally said, why would anyone want to be a mod in Phil's chat? You don't get paid or whatever. Why are you doing- so basically you just talk shit about the mods and you wonder why the mods may be a little bit miffed and, and, and moderate you. Gee, I wonder why. And it, again, common sense. If you had it, you wouldn't get moderated. It's not rocket science. <laughs> Russ Hardy says common sense isn't so common with a lot of majority of human beings these days. I hate to say it. You're right. Sadly what it is is basically a lot of- Here's how it used to be. As you get older, you learn from experience, and then you, you become wiser. You stop doing immature risky things, right? Instead, you learn and you relay that, that, that good experience, that, that wisdom, down to the younger generation. The younger generation, in turn, then learns over time, and it becomes common sense what you know to do in certain situations because people passed on their knowledge or passed on their, their recommendations to you. But it doesn't happen anymore. Sadly, now, you got people who are so immature, they never learn, and they make the same mistakes over and over their whole freaking lives. Well, yeah, basically, no one learns common sense anymore. No one, it's like, people just, they stay stupid. They just stay dumb and keep doing dumb shit. <clears throat> okay. Free. And pro it's like, there's a thing right here, giant thing. It says, have fun, but whatever you do, don't prod the hornet's nest. But there's a hornet's nest right here. And you could be doing any of these fun things around you, any of them, but you just gotta go prod the fucking hornet's nest and because you, you have no self-control. That's what it is. There's no common sense, no self-control. Everyone just wants free reign to do whatever the fuck they want, and they think that this is real life when it's not. Just because everything's virtual on the internet anymore, and because there's no repercussions for you doing these things, doesn't mean that it's okay to do them. So you come into my stream chat, you act like an, an idiot, you bring up the stuff that's forbidden, yeah, you're gonna get moderated. No shit. Anyone with a half a fucking brain would tell you that, but you have to actually have that half a brain, and sadly a lot of people don't. I'm a mature adult with a business degree. I'm stuck here on my love seat doing absolutely fucking nothing. Um, random to me a dollar says, I want to ask this because it seems like a great area. You ban people in the past for mocking how you say certain words that don't like people mocking you. So how is King of Golf HD not mocking you by having his name literally a word detractors have used? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't ban people for that. I don't ban people for that at all. I had to. I had to lie. Is all lies. It is all fucking lies. All right. Because I never told you the truth. I didn't feel like it was going to benefit anyone. I don't ban people for that. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. See what I mean? People hear, oh, Phil just bans people for making fun of him for saying that he says words weird. In reality, it doesn't happen, but you heard it from someone who probably got moderated for acting like a complete asshole in stream chat, and that's what they told you, and you just believed them. Perpetual short-term help, which of course sounds like a stab at me, says, oh, you sound like you're agitated today. I'm not at all. I'm actually not agitated today at all. I'm just reacting to what people are talking about. Oh, you're gonna get salt, 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 salt. It's oh, even now, I'm getting my mouth overpowered with salt flavor. Uh, Joe Spavoni completely false. He tipped me a dollar and says, I hate to break it to you, but all the tr troll channels give you free publicity that is crucial to your success, and without the detractor attention, you would be long gone. Wrong. If the detractors never existed, meaning if, if back in the day, if those videos, like This Is How You Don't Play, didn't completely slander me, I would actually still have mainstream following on YouTube. <laughs> Now, yeah, things change over the years, and I probably would have had to reinvent myself. More than likely, if I had wanted to stay, remain a mainstream YouTuber, I would have eventually had to change to the way that all the other mainstream YouTubers do it. Longer videos, abridged content, all thumbnails with my fucking face ah, all over them. All those, I would have had to. I just would have had to eventually adapt if I wanted to stay a full-time YouTuber. I just would have had to do that, okay? But I went from being one of the top guys to an unknown for gaming because of the people slandering me, because of the people literally stealing my content and making me look bad, and then people hitting me with false copyright strikes. If it wasn't for those three things, I would still be at the top of the YouTube food chain when it comes to gaming. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was great. Oh my god. No. I would have eventually adapted to the times and changed for the better, I think. Um, but I still would have been there. So you think that, oh, that brings more attention. Yeah, I would say maybe out of the how many tens of thousands of people who hate my guts now because of the negative stuff out there, maybe a couple hundred, maybe a thousand have eventually checked out my stuff and maybe a few of them actually became real fans. But like I just told you, the problem is those people don't come and watch my streams anymore. They go watch the guys who illegally steal and those guys get all the benefit from it, not me. You have no fucking idea what the fuck you're talking about and you should stop trying to protect your fucking idols who are just fucking criminals and thieves and scumbags because it shows. It's... It's gross. It's for this. It's not because 
they love what they're doing. It's not because for the love of the game or because they're true gamers. It's for this. And this is what it's become. It's not about putting out a quality review. It's not about putting out a quality playthrough or quality stream. It's about making this. No, Decky Swerve, no. He says, would I ever have on the level of PewDiePie? Fuck no. Because PewDiePie is a character that blew up for being a character, and then he changed to be himself when he didn't want to be the character anymore. But I was never a character. I was always just myself. Yeah, I was never I was never a guy pretending to be a scaredy cat playing a fucking horror game. I was never the guy who would dye my hair to look like a fucking cartoon character or a Muppet. You know, I was the guy who was the honest, genuine guy that was just here playing games every day and giving you my honest feedback, and that's what Ladies people and liked about me, that I wasn't fake, please. like a lot of those other this content creators. But eventually, now what would happen is people look for the fake over the real. It's just true. People want, people want scripted, people want over-the-top drama rather than being real. It's just, just being true. They don't want... I should say, I should rephrase. A lot of people don't want that. Immature people want... The fake shit. And uh, there's a lot of immature people out there. In fact, look at the people who made someone like PewDiePie popular. Do you really think it was, like, older people? No, it was kids. Kids made him popular. And then, once he was white-hot popular for having so many kids watch him, then other people came and checked out his stuff. Just as he was changing from being that character, that cartoon character, that over-the-top overacting character, into a normal person. Then people fell in love with the normal person because he finally was relatable, right? So... You gotta respect the guy, because over time he did change to finally be someone who he wanted to be, rather than just the guy who acts on camera. But no, I never would have been as big as him, because I never would have done that. I never would have acted in order to get that extra attention. SleepyXE did a 300 bit cheer. He says, are you saying you weren't a character when you made racist and tactless jokes, or was that the real you? That was me trying to find a way to keep the interest of an audience that I knew was very fickle. And you gotta remember that back in the day of YouTube, it was basically like the Wild West and everything was allowed. And for me, it was like, how can I just be silly? How can I be, how can I show people that I don't take any of this seriously? That I don't think that making a video of a video game is anything serious. I, but the way I saw it was I couldn't believe that thousands of people were actually coming out to watch me do what I did. So I was like, what the hell can I get away with? What can I, what kind of joke could I actually make? Can I do the most, some of the most risque jokes ever from the Howard Stern show, right? Can I, can I literally address every race in some negative way? You know, like, and it was amazing because, you know, back then it was like, you could do whatever. You could do whatever. There was none of this SJW shit. And there was none of these people being touchy about that kind of stuff. Now, the thing is, over the years, I matured and I realized I don't want that shit in my content. Think about the, really the thing that really irks me today. Out of all the stuff I used to do back in the day, this is actually the God's honest truth. The thing that irks me is the sexual stuff I used to do. I always had a sexual comment coming out of my mouth. I always had a stupid sexual reference or joke. Oh, look at the girl with the big tits or whatever. I always had to say stuff like that. And there was an audience. The audience back then, these immature teenagers ate that shit up like spaghetti. They slurped it up. They loved it. And that's a lot of the reasons why I had the attention that I did back then. Because like, wow, here's a guy who just says whatever the fuck he wants. He's not doing a professional walkthrough or nothing. This is just like the most ridiculous over-the-top improv comedy. And, you know, he's crazy zany like that. And we like that. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. Isn't it cold without a shirt on? Nipples are getting hot. <laughs> oh. Right? And that's very different. Um, that That's very different from, um, you know, now where now I realize I just want to be me. I just want to... I'm out. I'm fully out of the closet, as you guys know. I'm out of the closet. <laughs> fully out of the closet. Yeah. Make honest content. I don't need to be constantly making the over-the-top joke or the stupid shit. I've matured up over the years. I don't want to do that stuff anymore. I don't want to be that guy any fucking more, you know? Every once in a while, I'll say something ridiculous. Like, someone just say, oh, well, you still hit shitty dicks. That's not, that's not even, like, sexual. That's just a stupid su superlative comment to make during a situation where I'm upset about something in a game. That's not a sexual reference where I'm, re I'm referencing a sex act. I don't say lewd comments about female characters in games anymore. You know what I mean? I've completely phased all that shit out of my, comment uh, my commentary on purpose. Um... But Sleep EXE, to, 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 to answer what you're asking, back in the day, you gotta realize YouTube was a different thing, dude. It was nowhere near like what it is now. It was a completely different situation where just to even get anyone to watch you, you had to have something going on. And for me, I was like the, the normal guy who would just say over-the-top comments, uh, no matter what I play. I would also play every new release. You know, I had a few things, reasons why I was a catch that people would come watch my content. But... No, that wasn't a character, but that also wasn't the real me. That was just me trying to see how far I could go 
with how ridiculous the whole thing was. Like I said, back then when I was doing that crazy over-the-top stuff, I wasn't doing this for a living. I wasn't making any money doing it. It was my hobby. And I was like, I can't believe so many people are watching me do this. It's just such a silly thing. I'm playing a game on the internet, sharing my commentary over it, and people go nuts for it. And I just, it was so, like, mind-blowing that people would like what I was putting out on the internet. I couldn't believe it, you know? To this day, I still can't believe it. Ten years strong, I'm still fucking doing this. People care about me and care about my opinions and care about, you know, I just, like, nuts to me. Because before this, I was who? I was a nobody. I was a Street Fighter player, and not, that was before Street Fighter had blown up, so who gave a shit about that, right? You know, and really, it was a, a total change in my life. When YouTube came along and people actually started caring about things that I said and did, so. Whole Master did 100 bit series says, If YouTube was like the Wild West, why do you still talk shit about other creators like PewDiePie? I'm not actively talking shit about creators like PewDiePie. That's 100% a lie. When you come on my streams every day, do I bring up PewDiePie? No! Only if there's a reason to. Literally here, someone just asked me about PewDiePie and I gave my honest answer. I don't just actively talk shit about them. You know what the fuck you're talking about. You're trying to pro- Again, you're trying to prod the hornet's nest, asshole. Uh, James the Beastie cheered, he says, what gave you the idea that you could be as funny as Howard Stern? I mean, I didn't, but at the same time, I was an innovator. No! You fucked up! Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> like, I was doing things very differently than most people who were doing these kind of videos on, on YouTube back then. When I was looking for videos on YouTube, it was very boring, dry commentary that was like, almost like you're watching me to learn how to play the game. Or it was like scripted, edited stuff. There was no one just playing a game and commenting live over it with honest stuff and funny jokes and stuff. It wasn't like that at all. It was like so serious and uptight and staunch and just boring. And so when I started doing it, I said, I'm just going to change it up. Now, do I think I'm as good as Howard Stern? Fuck no. And I never said that. Howard Stern's someone who told his craft and did it for years and years and years. I was someone who was just trying shit out, you know, to see how it would work. And somehow, amazingly, it worked. Um... I never said that I thought I was as good as Howard Stern. I would never say that. Let your kettle <laughs> Enjoying the chill vibe. It tastes like justice. <laughs> and I got an anonymous dollar tip saying, why do people keep trying to twist your words during this stream? You're a normal guy that makes jokes that may not appeal to everyone. And if they don't like it, they should go somewhere else. That's true. I, I agree with you. But the reason they do it is because they want to get a snippet. They want to get a sound clip. They want to get a blurb of me saying something that they can then highlight not in context, and go put it yeah, up somewhere else to make me look like a shithead, this is what they do. The Let me tell you, ever since two Definitely. weeks ago, I had a tweet that went viral, and a lot of top content creators retweeted it and thought that it was really funny. These people who, who don't like me are furious. What? What? <laughs> that I would get any kind of mainstream with positive attention. They're so fucking angry that I'm no longer the bottom of the barrel whipping boy of the fucking content creation totem pole. So they've got to do anything they possibly can to try to get something negative out of anything I do. And that's what they're trying to do. Jackie Swerve, I don't generalize people into detractors and stuff. I never did. And that's again, that's just something they now want you to believe to make it sound like I'm a bad person yeah. when in reality I don't generalize yeah. people like that at all. Zelda Mini said, you must be doing something right, otherwise you wouldn't still be here. There's something that detractors wouldn't bother to mention. Of course not. J you gotta think about it this way. For how many years? I would say, when did this is how you don't play started? 2012? So you're gonna tell me for seven straight fucking years, people have constantly made fun of me, constantly found every possible way to bring me down, either make me look bad or actually try to concretely hurt me in my business. And I'm still fucking here in 2019. Doesn't that say something? I mean, I've busted my ass to fucking stay here. I really worked my ass off. People don't even know the half of it. You know, you guys don't understand why I'm in so much debt and what, you know, the stress and shit that's happened behind the scenes and stuff because of the work I had to put in to keep this afloat, you know? What do you think? It's bland as hell. Really? All right, guys, I'm going to go a little bit later tonight than usual. Since you guys seem to be having fun and you're interacting with me and we're having a good time, I'll let the money roll in. Let the green roll in. Give me money, money. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Anything for this, right? What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP is a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. This guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.